Oh snap! What? 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 Hmm. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Or one gentleman, the one gentleman in the chat, the only man that matters in this game. Don Dada, Frank White, Francis H. White. What's up, brother? Can you believe it? Art, a statue, a slab, triple threat. Crazy. You heard me right. Probably the first time I've, well, no, not the first time, but I don't open many statues or pieces of art on here. So it's going down. Yo, just go, JB, hottest working man in the show, B-I-Z, <laughs> unruly, send me in, you don't want him to, you know, make you choke like you swallowed the cinnamon challenge, let's not forget the dairy devil, lactose intolerant, Where's Keith Larson at? <laughs> yeah. So I got Art from California Blend. I got oh statue. Oh, statue. Prize win statue. And then a slab. So I'll tell you what. Chat. Chat, you decide which one I open first. You want to see that slab? You want to see that art? Or you want to see that statue? Can we get a consensus from the chat? Because I'm a man of the people, bro. I aim to please customer service is how I roll. So I will, I was about to say I will service the chat, but that sounded a little sketchy. Um. Okay, digging it. You know what? I was kind of feeling that order too. Art, statue, slab. I think that's a good consensus. Yo, what up, Ed D? Brian Lawrence. Yo, the Funk Master. Chris Beasy. Mark, the Cuddy. Sark. <laughs> yeah, well, you've come to the right place, brother. Brother. <laughs> Alright, let's open up this mug. Yeah, man, if y'all don't know, California Blend. I've been following her a little bit on Instagram. I think I got put on to her from the man, Stay, Stay Puff. Uh, I know he's been tracking her for a while. He's been aware of her for a while. And dude, uh, she's really good. And I always got like an extra amount of respect for people that can paint nasty. Because I feel like it's a tough medium, bro. It's, it's one thing when you got pencil and paper and pen, you kind of have like a pretty good, it's pretty tight. You can do tight lines and you can get fairly surgical. But the paintbrush scares me. It's like a paintbrush and it just seems like an unruly method. So when people do shit so sharp and on point with paint, I'm like, dude, you got them skills. So anyway, uh, she was on Stay Puff, Stay Puff's channel on Sunday. She hopped on, and Stay Puff was making the chat aware of her online store, which I had not visited before. I hopped on, and I was like, dude, fire after fire after fire after fire. And also, bargain after bargain after bargain after bargain. Uh, this piece, I don't think she'll mind me saying, this piece I'm about to show you guys, $30. I paid $30 for what you're about to see here. Original, one of one, painted. Hand painted, I presume. I don't want to make assumptions. You know, I know some people can get busy with the feet. 
feet painting. I've seen that before, but I'm going to assume hand painted by California Blend. What's up, Geek Aficionado? Mark Knapp. All right. Enough of my buffoonery. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. 30 bucks ain't bad at all. Here we go. I'm excited. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Unruly Simeon's always dropping. God damn. Oh, no, that was Chris Barry with the gem. Okay. Paintbrush is a katana. Pencil is a scalpel. Damn, who said, who said that, Mr. Miyagi? Damn, my boy just dropped the Mr. Miyagi quote. Tony and Y. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, snap. I'm not going to look at it yet, but I want you to see the back. It says, let me unwrap it. So here's the size, okay? Canvas. I'm not looking at it yet. I want you to see the back of it. Come on now. I'm going to cut I'm going to cut this plastic off. I'm going to cut this plastic off and while I do that just check out this word from our sponsors while I cut this plastic. Okay, here we go. Gabrielle Howard, signature, December 2019, John 316. That's interesting. John 316 says, I just painted your canvas. Um, I'm so st <laughs> I'm so stupid. I see John 316 and I think of pro wrestling. It was it was John 316 first. Um, not not <laughs> not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, and at California Blend. So here we go. We're about to turn this mug. Oh, is that my boy George? D Runk. What did D Runk say? I can't do it with one hand. What's up, D Runk? Good to see you, bro. Here we go. Hacha, wacha, God, dog. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Look how sharp that is. Yowza. This is hand painted canvas, dude. Bro, when I saw this on her store, bro, I clicked so fast, dude. I clicked so damn fast. What up, Miss Explain? Good to see you, bro. And you know, this is, my opinion, the best Silver Surfer artist, John Buscema. All respect to King Kirby, but John Buscema inspired Silver Surfer. Fantastic. Uh, she does have an Instagram, and she conveniently has it right on the back. At California Blend, brother. And from there, I think you'll find her store. Highly a comic bro, just unboxed because a bunch of people bought from her, dude. Be, don't don't be surprised if you start seeing a bunch of her pieces popping up this week um, around. Because during that show, I know a bunch of people were buying stuff. So yeah, man, good deal. I mean, can you go wrong? Thirty dollars for a piece of original canvas painted art to this quality. Shout out to her, California Blend, Gabby. Fantastic. Okay. Tony, this will not be in the next auction. Which FYI is this Saturday night? Myself, Metarog, Jimmy Aficionado, I believe. And there might even be a mystery person as well. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. Ron Lim is the best surfer artist. Take it or leave it. Well, all, of all due respect to Ron Lim, I'll leave it, sir. Because John Busima is the surfer aficionado. 
in my humble opinion. Uh, Kingdom Comics. What's up, Kingdom Comics? Hey, can I say something? Uh, that just reminded me seeing Kingdom Comics in here. Yo, Kingdom, you said something in, uh, I forget what chat it was, in a recent chat, that you hit the nail right on the head, bro. Um, and you know when someone says something and it applies to you, and you're like, oh, shit, that shit applies to me. Um, no, I don't mean that by, like, you were, I think it applies to a lot of people, so I'm, I don't mean it by, like, that I just been like, oh shit, that does apply to me. He says, you know what? Kingdom Comics had the very astute uh, observation where he said, I see a cycle that takes place when people join YouTube, comic book YouTube, that is. Yo, what up, Chad RCG? Good to see you. Um, he's like, the cycle is a person will join comic book YouTube and they're all about new comic book day. They go ham on New Comic Book Day, and that's their shit. And perhaps even their content revolves around that. From there, they get into, what did he say? And then from New Comic Book Day, they get into spec, right? They get into spec. Um, trying to predict what's hot. Because a lot of New Comic Book Day shit does revolve around spec. And then from spec, then they get into hunting. Going out, hitting flea markets, hitting shops, digging, and trying to hunt them books. And then from there, they get into flipping books for big books. And I was like, yo, dog, if you didn't just nail me right on the head with that. Um, not that I think there's even anything wrong with that that cycle. Um, but I was like, you know what? He's right. And you know what it you know what I sat and pondered? You know what I'm saying? Um yeah, I don't think it applies to everybody, but it applies. I'll be damned. I'll admit it applied to me like a motherfucker when I came back to the hobby. I mean, I I came to the hobby as a fucking kid that loved comics that uh, really my whole collection was trades just because I like reading. Anyway, and you know what I sat and contemplated to myself? I was like, hmm, so which one is, is like purer? You know what I'm saying? Like, is... All right, is step one like the most pure of all you're worried about is just reading New Comic Book Day and you ain't really worried about the collecting for value part? And do you get tainted by, by the hobby? Is flipping, you know what I'm saying? Do you, when you start assigning dollar values, are you, are, do you become tainted and where you at your most, uh, you know, were you at your most noble when you were collecting there, just reading? Or did you start not really understanding the hobby as well, and you graduated to enlightenment, which was fucking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the more pure thing of like, just go after what you really want, what you consider grails. I don't know why I just went on a tangent of deep thought, but that's how we roll on this channel. Um, I finally came to the conclusion that neither was more pure than the other, by the way. Spoiler alert. That's the thought I came to. Anyway, tangential because I saw Kingdom. Uh, all right. So y'all saw the, the painting. Next up is the statue. <laughs> 84 hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Ed D says pretty much. It's pretty much true. Some of us don't sell, though. Yeah, no doubt. I just thought it was a fun observation. Uh, statue time, son. Oh, my God. It's big. Yo, it's bigger than I thought. Okay. And I don't want anyone in the chat to hit that low-hanging fruit. That's what you... No, I don't want to hear. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. 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 Oh, no, no. God damn you. What do you think this is? Um, oh, hell yeah. Big Ben, just opened the box of Thor books that you bought from the auction. 
Thanks for the surprise sketch. My little brother loved it. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, I always like to just bang out a little something as a, just to make it fun. Hey, which one did I, did you get? Big Ben, can you remind me? God damn you, Chris Barrett. How dare you? Kachun, it takes time to refine your love. You need the cycle to find that within yourself. Not because others are doing it, but because it's what you truly love most. Can I slow clap, Kachung? Slow clap, Kachung. <laughs> Yo, I fucking Chris Barrett's a chat all star. I'm standing by my comment. <laughs> You're my boy, uh, Barrett. Anyway, look at this, dude. <laughs> I didn't say she, I said he. That's what he said. The Flash. I think this is New 52 era. The Flash statue. Dog, I'm going to open this thing up and show you the fucking statue, just so you know. That's what we're going to see when we open it. Ooh, look at those two. Ooh, I like that Harley. That shit's dope. I can't wait. And this was, okay, you got the Thor one, no doubt. Cool, man. Um, and this goes out to, or oh, this was courtesy of uh, Centauri Stir Fry, dude. One of my favorite channels. The funniest. One of the most comedic fucking channels in the game. Make sure you subscribe to Centauri Stir Fry because his shit is solid. Yeah, Centauri Stir Fry. It was just, uh, you know, put something in the comment and he put you in. He does it. He's so cool. He's old school, bro. He put everyone's name in like a coffee mug and just pulled out a piece of paper with my name on it. And I was like, hell yeah. Okay. We've got the foam out. We're going to open this. And then once we do, don't forget about that slab. Sure. I just realized I've never unboxed a statue before. Is this the begin? I have addictive, you know, I got a track record of addictive personality. So you might be seeing step one of my cracked out statue addiction. So we'll see. We will see. Because I look at some people's like fucking... Like the way Simeon will do a statue and then surround it with slab like key books. Yo, I love that presentation, bro. That shit is so nice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, does it have a stand? Where's the stand? Oh, hold up. That's the figure, all in one piece. I gotta figure out how to get to the stand. Oh look, it's got a little compartment right there. Okay. I can oblige that. Oblige him. This man says he wants to die for his country. Oblige him. Okay. Here we go. Boom. This is a nice, this is like quality statue. Boom. What? What does that say? Don't worry. 90% of all packages that head 40's way, I can most likely stop? What? Yo. You got some connects I don't know about, bro? Intercepting? My mail? Magic Lasso. What's up? Good to see you. Let's open this baby up. Oh, yo, I feel like Gem Mint. Yo, what's up, Geminites? We got some fire statue. <laughs> Gem's awesome. Okay, so here's the stand. It's heavy, bro. It's like thick, dense. Flash symbol. 
I wish my game was tight like Jim's and I have like a little lazy Susan. I could show you all the angles, bro. But we're going to do this simple. Let me take a good look. Oh, yeah, dude. Yo, this thing is clean as hell. Very nice craftsmanship. Look at this. Yo, that is nice. This is bigger than I thought and like heavier. Oh, the sneaker's got nice detail. He likes the wings, yeah. Yeah, me too. The pose is very nice. Blue eyes. Let's let's connect them on. <laughs> Lasso says that looks like me when the con door opens. Yeah, for real. He's just speeding in there. All right. Okay. There you have it. Look at that. Yo, what up, Purgatory Paul? Good to see you. There's your flash. I'm going to use my hand as the lazy Susan. Boom. That's nice, bro. So, of course, big shout out to Centauri Stir Fry. Thank you so much, dude. How many statues do you have? Man. I mean, like, proper higher-end statues like this. This is basically my first one. But I do have some other statues. I have a Thor, a, like a I have a Thor and a, a Doctor Strange statue. Go. <laughs> you like my lazy Susan technique? Okay, so there it is, man. Yo, what up, Bake? Bake the snake. Yo, this was a prize winning from. Um, Centauri Stir Fry, dude, hooked me up proper. Bang. So, there you have it. Fantastic. What up, Sammy David? Thank you, man. That's so cool. I don't think there's a way I could prop this up back here. Put it on the keys. I might fuck up my piano. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't know if this counts as a statue, but I do have this dope fucking Thanos bust. Yo, these are cool, man. And they're like $30 because they're just a piggy bank. I mean, yo, for a piggy bank, that is a dope Thanos head. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, man, I play the piano a little bit. I did one video where I do like three different piano covers on it. I think if you just go to like the search bar of my channel and put like piano or some shit, I do three covers. <laughs> There's no, that's an empty, empty piggy bank. <laughs> All right, and now, and just to, and just a reminder, how fire that this piece is god dog it i love it bro i love it so much it's just like so clean i don't know how i do that with paint and like the splatter to make the galaxy stuff is pretty pretty gnarly boom <laughs> Give us a quick tinkle. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm set up properly for that. All right. Here's my... Oh. Um, JP said, who did that? Dude, JP, California Blend did it. Um... I went to her store, and you want something to really blow your tits off, JP? 
thirty dollars, brother. And this is original painted. This is not a print. Thirty dollars. And she has plenty more like this. Highly a comic bro just got a sick ghost rider that was so cool. So if I can do anything to to throw some some shine her way. Stay Puff did a great job because that's where I bought it and a bunch of people did. But if I can help that, yo, check out California Blend, please. Okay. Stay, uh, comic book slab unboxing. I'm going to unbox this. I swear I didn't open this beforehand. They just, there's just no tape on it. You know what I'm saying? This is not a clickbait title. I am actually unboxing it. <laughs> I figured I would still take it out of a box just to cause a little drama. But we have a book that I purchased on the Ebays. It's been on my mind for a little bit, bro. And I had to make it happen. So here it is. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. King of the North King of the North I don't want to be king I don't want it <laughs> The Black Knight lives again the black knight rides again i've been wanting this book for a minute um riding pegasus dude it's not his first appearance you know it, it is true that number 47 is the first appearance of dane whitman i don't i think this is the first time because it says dane whitman becomes the new black knight so i'm assuming that fucking uh dane whitman it's just the first appearance of him as like a dude. And then he doesn't actually be Black Knight until this. So I would say this is first appearance of Black Knight, but they don't really word it that way in the keynotes, whatever. Um. <laughs> Soon lad, all this will be yours. What, the curtains? Boom. First appearance of the Arag of Aragorn, the winged, the winged steed. Is that right? Is that the first appearance of this fella? The winged steed. So it's not a Pegasus. It's a winged steed. <laughs> Martin Lawrence. How did Martin Lawrence come up in the chat? <laughs> oh, Black Knight, right. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. It's like a Hal Jordan situation. I see. Actually, I don't see. I don't know what that means. But I'm assuming it's like a Hal Jordan first appearance and then a Green Lantern first appearance. So, yeah, 6.5. You know, if you recall, I think I bought this thing uh, during my last, one of my last shows when I was talking about spec. Because, yo, I'm, I don't know. I got a feeling that they're going to make this motherfucker like, who knows, leader of the, the new Avengers or definitely a key part of the, whatever the new Avengers are. Whatever, I don't know shit, but I think it makes sense to me to have Jon Snow introduce him in the Eternals. He's got a nice fan base, then flip him over into the thing. So whatever. We'll see. Either way, I'm gassed to have this gem. This is a, a gem of a book. That 12 cent Avengers Brothers and Sisters. 6.5. Nice grade. I'll even tell you what I paid. Fuck it. Ready? There's a sticker on this thing. For three twenty five. Three twenty five. So I'm assuming maybe this guy had if he has a shop, maybe he had it on the wall of his shop and was like because I know my shop does that. Put stuff on the wall, but it price prices it up. Yeah, white pages. Oh yeah. I remember Magic Lasso said, look at Wasp's costume. Yeah, that is a pretty dope costume. I feel like I didn't get a screaming deal on it, and then I also feel like I didn't super over overpay. 
slabs, which is a lot of the when I buy slabs off eBay, I get my best deals when I'm out finding deals and etc. In the wild is where I get my best deals. Um, but when I'm dealing with eBay, yeah, I'll be lucky if I snag a deal. But otherwise, I'm usually just paying fucking FMV GPA for for shit. I try, but you know, what are you gonna do? I really wanted this book. I like the grade. I paid basically the FMV 250 bones. You know, I'm cool. I can live with it. 250 bones. It's mine. It's in the collection. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's such a good point, bro. Wow, I never noticed that. Look at how spot on. Um, unruly comments. Look how perceptive that is. You can tell it's his first day on the job. Look how he's holding the lance. Look how he's holding the goddamn lance. Why isn't he holding it by the fucking handle, dude? He's grabbing it by... I mean, I don't think lances are blade sharp. They're more for, like, poking. So the tip is... It's like a poking tool. But still, dude, I don't think you're supposed to grab a lance like that. It's even weird that they drew it, that the artist drew it that way. You would think it'd make a more dynamic cover for him to be on a wing steed with the lance going straight out like a joust. Like, coming at you. Maybe he couldn't draw the perspective of that well and just was like, let me just have him hold the middle of the fucking thing. I mean, maybe. He says because you only hold the handle when you're charging at someone. I don't know, man. Two guns right. He's grabbing it by the shaft, bro. He should be... Even if that is the case... Uh, back to Chris's comment, because you only handle it, you only hold the handle when you're charging at someone. But is he not charging at someone right here on the cover? He looks like a charging-ass motherfucker right here. Look, he's charging through on his horse. This is the moment when you're supposed to hold the handle. Yeah, he's charging at the readers. Thank you, Kingdom. That's right. So this is the moment. Oh, shit, look at Kachun. Kachun knows... He knows joust lingo. He's gripping it by the husk. <laughs> All right. I should wrap this up. Um, there's the slab. As advertised, I said art statue slab. As advertised, here's the slab. I'm very happy with that. Boom. How about this? Huh? How about that? That was recent pickup. How about this? How about this? X-Men number eight. Unus. Shout out to Unruly Simeon. All right. Anyway. Fucking. Uh, slab. Statue. Four mil mylar? I think so. <laughs> yeah. House 84. It's an honorable house. We got, courtesy of Centauri Stir Fry, the Flash statue. Very cool. We'll see if I have, a, I think I have a decent spot for it. I don't collect a lot of flash, but I'm pretty gassed to have it. So that's very cool. Damn, that looks cool. And last but not least, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to put this right next to, uh, you know what? One last thing before I go. Let me show you the two pieces of art that I'm going to hang this up next to. I will be... It's not far, so I'll be right back.
always waits for you. That spirit comes shining through, promising you a great day. Okay. All right, I got it. Y'all ready? <laughs> I tried to limit as the chair time as much as I could, but I just wasn't fast enough. So, boom. Damn, that shit is so bright and pops. So I'm going to have this hanging on the wall, and I'm probably going to have it hanging right next to this fantastic piece by the Honorable Jimmy Boatwright. Ta-jow! I'm gonna hang this next to my fucking Jimmy Boatwright Galactus, brother. Tell me not, dude. That's gonna be nice. Look how talented Jimmy Boatwright is. Incredible, bro. Yeah, those rock nice together. And I also have this, this will be, I think I want those two like right next to each other, but this one's gonna be close by. Cause even though it's not original art and it's a print, it still reminds me of like the con I went to and the dude signed it. And he spent a lot of time with me cause people were sleeping on his booth. It was, it was like a, not even a Boston con. It was like some spot outside of Boston. So there wasn't even that many people on it. Um, but uh, Arvell Jones. Arvell Jones is the creator of Misty Night and also was an artist for, I think he drew hardware. I think he did the hardware series for um, Milestone Comics. And I bought a Silver Surfer print off him and he did like a, he did a, he signed it and then he actually like did some embellishments with his pen and I was like, hell yeah. So I framed that shit <coughs> and this is the work of Arvell Jones, bro. Hooked me up. I used to keep this in the background of a lot of my videos. But yeah, he has a dope signature too. Look at his sig. So he had that silver pen and he did the signature, but then he also like did some silver embellishments around here. And I was like, hell yeah, bro. He is so cool. He was a cool ass motherfucker, man. He was so like down to earth and bam. So yeah, man, I'm stacked. I'm stacked and jacked. Yeah, the board does look sick. Stacked and jacked on my surfer art. My Galactus. Okay. Yo, thanks for hanging out. Arvell did some Wonder Woman work in the Bronze Age. Hey now. On Super Team Family. Good nugget from Lasso. Good nugget from Lasso. Um... All right, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Um, I'll leave you with this. Um, auction Saturday night, right? As soon as I sign off, you're going to see a video upload from me uh, because I just recorded it before I did this, and it's all I got to do is hit the like publish button or whatever. And it's just a little announcement about the auction Saturday. I preview a couple things and I tell you about two giveaways because Kava, you started a trend, bro. I love that idea. Just a, just a community giveaway at an auction. So that's happening again. I'm giving something away and a member of the community is giving something away. I'm going to give him some quick shine real quick. This gentleman right here, first edition comics. He has a cool channel, 95 subscribers. Go check him out, guys. It's dope. He's got omnibus. He's got unboxings. He seems like a cool dude. Um, he is a cool dude. And he donated something for me to give away at the auction. 
It's already in my possession. It's a key book. It's a banger. And you're going to have to watch the preview video that I'm about to publish. Um, you know, to find out just what that book is. And to find out what I'm giving away, too. So, all right, yo. That's my little fucking sales pitch. I appreciate you guys very much. Until next time. Peace. Thank you.